hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i will teach you how to run this 220 volts motor from a washing machine at just 12 volts dc so guys uh, this is the inside view of the motor you can see the copper windings inside okay and now i'm going to rotate the shaft yeah the moving part is the armature of course and the other one this one is the field winding one this side and the other one is this side now although this motor was manufactured in 2003 but it is still in good condition and working really good and you can see that uh, these are the bearings it is not on bushes but on bearings now you can see uh, that there is a good high quality base provided to this motor here here to this side and uh, to the other side and you can see here that uh, there are a lot of wires for connecting uh, this motor to the power supply and hence making it uh, really difficult to understand the wiring for running it on 12 volts now another thing about uh, this motor is you can see that uh, there is the commutator and that uh, commutator means that it is a brushed universal motor so it can run both on ac and dc now on close inspection you can see that uh, this is the red wire right this is connected uh, to one of the brushes and on the other side blue wire is connected to this brush and all of them are coming out here to this socket ifb industries limited universal motor 50 mm stack although the power rating is not visible anymore but still it's showing that it is single phase 230 volts 50 hertz and manufactured in 2003 its power rating as i have seen on other motor tags is 693 watts now the pins of all these wires are coming out here as you can see six pins okay so anyways guys let's start with the connections part first thing to be understood about this motor is that the rotating part as you see here is uh, the armature of course and uh, the other winding is one of the field poles now comes the other field pole this is the other field pole so in total there are two field poles of course now these two field poles are together connected in series and the final two wire output coming out from both of these poles is through this yellow wire coming out with this black and white wire okay so both the lower pins are for the field output and uh, the blue and the red wire as i told you are coming out from the brushes and these two yellow wires are from this part which is uh, not important for uh, the 12 volts connection point of view okay so we have to neglect the upper two yellow pins and all we need are these four wires red blue black and white so the upper two will be neglected middle one are this and this and a lower are this and this which are the only ones necessary for wiring the machine in 12 volts dc mode okay so guys uh, since these two lower ones are for the field poles and uh, the middle ones are for the brushes or uh, the commutator feeding uh, the armature windings these two or these two cannot be connected together like this one and this one cannot be connected or short circuited together neither can these two so what we have to do is connect the armature of this motor in series with the field okay so for that i am going to use jumper cable although we are not going to need uh, this wire okay so what i will do is i will connect one terminal of this wire to the left hand terminal like uh, this one left lower terminal okay and the other to the left of the middle two terminals now what we are left with are two terminals this one and the lower one and these two are not needed as i said before what i'm going to do is connect one wire to the lower 
to the lower terminal and uh, the other blue wire to the right middle terminal okay now with that being done we are left out with only two wires this and this okay so guys so uh, the wiring is complete now let's test it with this 12 volts 70 h battery so i will connect this wire afterwards first i'm going to connect this wire to the negative you can see you can see that it is uh, running at a really good speed yeah the speed is good uh, the torque is also good and the rpm is very high so guys uh, the setup is working let's do some close inspection while it's working yeah you can see uh, the rpm and the armature low reading inside RPM is really good. Also, you can see that there is no other wire given, and the connections are like this. Okay, so guys, let's turn it off now. So this is how this 220 volts motor is going to work if uh, the connections are done properly. Let's increase uh, the input voltage to this motor and see how much RPM I can obtain. So guys, uh, there is one thing that I forgot to tell you is uh, that if we interchange uh, the polarity what happens okay one terminal is connected like this and uh, the other one is like this yeah the rotation is clockwise and if we interchange it still the rotation is clockwise this is why it is said that universal motors don't change their direction of rotation okay now the higher speed part by giving it an even higher voltage up to 60 volts from an e-bike battery charger okay so this is the pin out from the e-bike battery charger now the voltage is five times higher than uh, the 12 volts battery so obviously the rpm is going to be really really high okay go yeah it is uh, really dangerous now yeah still rotating and the RPM was really high. Let's do it once again. Yeah, the RPM is very high at present. Must be around 7000 or 8000 RPM. So yeah, this is what happens when you connect it to very high voltage supply.
okay so guys that would be all about uh, today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you